Welcome to the podcast. This is the Team Auto Podcast Experience All Things Real Estate. We're south of Winnipeg and also east of Winnipeg in uh, six different towns, seven different towns actually. And this will be about a three minute real estate market report, a weekly report. We're going to be doing Niverville, Manitoba, then Ildashane and Grand Point, Manitoba together, then Landmark, Manitoba, then Lorette, Manitoba. Then over to Dougal, Manitoba, we'll finish off in Oak Bank, Manitoba. Today's date is October 6, 2022. All data is from MLS for single residential detached homes. I'm Stephen Olin of Cream X Performance Realty, and we're going to compare last week's numbers to this week's numbers. We're also going to talk about the shift in the real estate marketing, what's happening. Hang out to the end of the podcast to talk about that shift. Let's start off in Neverville. 29 homes on the market last week. This week, you're up 1 to 30 on the market, even though four homes came to market in the last seven days. Of those 30 homes, 20 are new builds, leaving with 10 resale homes. Currently, one pending sale this week there was one pending sale last week and zero sold so no sold data available uh, if you look for any sold data uh, tune in next week um, we will be doing a third quarter report for all of these towns talking about the last nine months and what our predictions are for the final quarter and last three months of the year grand point elder shane had 10 on the market last week down one this week to nine even though one came to market three of the nine are uh, uh, new builds leaving you with six resale homes zero penny sale zero sold so same thing for sold data tune into that that third quarter report next week landmark you had 10 on the market last week you got 11 on the market this week uh, um, showing zero came to market in the last seven days but yet it's up one um, nine new builds leaving with two resale homes one currently pending sale and zero sold there was zero sold zero pending sale last week Lorette, you had 17 on the market last week, down two this week to 15, even though one came to market in the last seven days. Five new builds, leaving with 10 resale homes, one per currently pending sale, and zero sold. Last week, you had two sales and one that sold it, sold actually sold above asking price. Um, MLS uh, for Dougald, 13 last week, uh, 13 this week, even though one came to market in the last seven days. Nine new builds, leaving you with four resale homes, currently one pending sale, zero sold. And Oak Bank, you had seven on the market last week. This week, you're up one to eight. And it's showing that two actually came to market in the last seven days. One new build, zero pending sale, one sold this week. Uh, you had zero penny sales, zero sold last week. So let's talk about that. All of these towns, I went through seven different towns and we've got one sale. So there's your shift in the real estate market. Even though, you know, we could go through last week, Lorette had one sell above asking price. So you are still seeing that occasional one. If it's marketed properly, put on the market below asking price, it's going to sell above asking price. Um, I predicted that one in Lorette. I went through it, would do that. And that's exactly what happened. So third quarter report coming out next week. Um, the shift is in full swing in the real estate market. So now more than ever, you need a trusted advisor. Someone knows the market, knows exactly what's going on, got the finger on the pulse, can tell you what's happening, can show you the data, and can uh, help you through the process. Thanks for watching. Tune in again next week. Have yourselves a great week, everyone.